My mom used to, like I said, work for a plastic surgeon and <laughs> she used to give me <laughs> silicone breasts, but to <laughs> let me play around with like, I don't know if you, if it was the same with you, but when we were young, marbles was such a big thing. Like yeah. play marbles <laughs> at school and stuff and you used to like, win marbles and play, you know, when you used to get them in the holes and stuff. But yeah. uh, but anyway, I don't know why I said that, but, but <laughs> I used to like pretend these um, silicone breasts were were like Big. marbles and whatever, and I used to just throw them around the office. And <laughs> but I had no idea what they were, to be honest. With you. We used to do backstage, right? Like this is ridiculous now that I think of it. But it was such it was so cool. So you know, every year the school would put on plays, and um, we used to comp like so we'd have school plays, but then. Also, schools used to compete against each other, mm. like for plays. I forget what it was called now, but you'd actually go to like the Joburg Theater, and uh, because it doesn't matter what level you are at in your life, if you're the president of a country or whatever, there's always going to be somebody who inspires you and who you look up to, and it's important to follow these people because they're going to they're going to do things that you're going to want to do and push you and, and, you know, they might be just role models. And so, so basically you just look up to them and don't necessarily have like a direct relationship with them. But then from the mentor side of things, I think it's important to actually go and seek these people and ask them, no matter what you might see in the news and all these sort of things, we, we're actually really are wired to help each other. Mm-hmm. And, and that's actually what we are about. Like, you know, people love to help each other out and, um, and if you ask somebody to to mentor you and to guide you, I can promise you that probably ninety five percent of the time they'll go, yeah, yes, of course, I'd I'd be proud to, I'd I'd love mm. to help you out. It um, gave me an appreciation for life, like literally. It's not until something happens to you like that that you realize how precious life is and how quickly it can get taken from you. And it's not your choice. It's literally not your choice. You know, like. Like that, that, that drunk oak can, and, and it happens to so many people, but it happens to so yeah. many people. And oh. I was just lucky. The older we get, almost the more recluse we get as well. Um, mm. And we actually have to be very conscious of that and, and not go that way. Because when you do start isolating yourself, you start, I don't know, you start dying slowly inside, I feel. And, and that's why community is so huge. And for me, sports has been that. It could be, there's so many other things that can do that for you now as well. But sure. I think, and that was it. But I, I literally, for two years, I started doing the, file, the filing. And I was so, I, like, I was so proud. Like, I was like, oh my word. Like, I was having to put on like smartish clothes, even though it was, you know, still like just a <laughs> shirt. And then, um, I remember, yeah. So there's so much, there's so many layers to life and we really need to appreciate a lot of the small things. I think Mm. for me, relationships are just huge, you know, and you need to go deep on your relationships. I, I, it's important to remember that to other people, your story is interesting. And this is, this is what we found out a lot about the podcast, isn't it? Like, other people, everyone has a story and, and we, exactly. we actually just need to realize that. And, and there's something in your story that other people can, will like, obviously dislike as well, but like they'll, they'll learn from and, and, you know, just see a different side of you, which is I think important. Really appreciate and be grateful for what we do have. And I think we need to, we need to treat each moment for, for what it is. Um, if it's good, enjoy that moment. Um, and if it's bad, what can I learn from this moment? And, and why is it happening to me?